Good morning, everybody. I think we're going to get started. I knew it was going to be a challenge to get you in the room as soon as I saw that breakfast buffet. <laughs> Now, I, just as a ranger, I could hear my staff starting to walk around the table. <laughs> See what got the window. So my name is Steve Snyder. On behalf of the East Boston Neighbor Health Center, uh, I want to welcome you all here today uh, to this forum. Uh, we have the easy job. We're just sort of the host today. Um, but uh, we, love to, we love to host these types of events. So, um, you know, it's interesting hosting uh, a small business forum because the East Boston Neighbor Health Center used to be a small business. Um, we started in 1970. Um, really just put some community activists getting together to discuss the health needs in the community. I joined uh, the health center in 1987 uh, for the first time. We had just over a couple hundred staff. Uh, we're now at 1,200 staff, and we're probably one of the largest community health centers in the country. Uh, we're uh, going to see somewhere between 350 and 400,000 patient visits this next year. Um, primary care, emergency department. Uh, so a, a large organization and you know, known widely for the clinical care that we provide. Um, but we also love to partner in the community on a lot of, a lot of other issues. And uh, just I guess it was a couple of months ago I met with Juan and Dean over at the, the Peñol right. uh, restaurant. Yeah. And we had a variety of conversations, none of which I remember because the lunch was like amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we talked about They're partnerships. Um, and you know, beyond sort of clinical care, there's so many other critical factors in the community uh, that we believe relate to health and it's not you know so it's not just about seeing your doctor and seeing your primary care physician it's also about where am I going to live do I have housing do I you know can I get a better job we have an education and training institute that not only trains our staff uh, but that helps people learn English that helps them gain new skills that helps them you know find new jobs uh, working with JVS and other partners um, frequently working with financial organizations, great to have uh, East Boston Savings Bank, another good partner of ours in the room today. Legal issues, uh, consistently trying to help not just our patients but our, our residents. And well beyond East Boston, if you're not aware of that, our, uh, in fact 65% of our patients today come from towns outside of East Boston. So our, our crew area, Chelsea, Revere, Winthrop, Everett, um, and beyond that we're seeing you know, patients from, from sort of all over our, our neighborhoods and that's our mission. Uh, as long as there's demand. The building that we're in today was built because of the am am amazing amount of demand that we had seen. We've been at capacity and it's uh, probably our biggest challenge right now. We'll probably get kicked off this floor soon because we need more clinical space. Uh, I keep a box under my desk because I know it's just a matter of time. <laughs> my boss told me, don't put any more pictures up. I go, what do you mean by that? So, <laughs> so, so it's wonderful for us to sort of be here today and certainly uh, partnering with Tufts. Um, you know, we, we share a mission of seeing our, our communities can be as healthy as they can be. So it was a, a wonderful opportunity for us to have them here today um, and uh, the other partners that are with. So I want to just really just thank you all for coming, especially the staff who put this together. Yeah, they, did, mm -hmm. they did a fantastic job. Uh, for the yeah. <laughs> so, so many today. Uh, you guys did great. So, so enjoy your time here today. If, you, if there's questions afterwards about the health center, happy to happy to answer any of those. But we're really uh, not not really on the agenda today, just to sort of host and make sure that everything goes smoothly. So, uh, so it's my pleasure to bring uh, uh, Dean Wishy up today, yeah. and he's going to get things kicked off, and we'll roll through the agenda a little bit. I have a clicker for all of our speakers today, so um, I'll just pass this off. Well, uh, Steve, oh, yeah. thanks very much. Uh, Do you need a microphone? Okay. I, I know. Just say I don't. I don't. I don't. Okay. Uh, thanks very much, Stephen. And, and look, uh, you know, thank you for opening up your doors to the health center here. What a beautiful facility, right? Uh, right in the heart of East Boston. You know, uh, certainly a neighborhood rich with uh, history and culture. So it's really just a pleasure to be here and to be helping support uh, the local community. Uh, again, my name is Dean Bushy. I'm the vice president of sales and service for Tufts Health Plan. Uh, and along with our uh, partner organizations that you'll hear from in a few moments, we're really excited to be here. Uh, and we're really pleased that you were able to invest some of your really important time, right? This is a time out of your day. So we really want to make sure that we're making it as valuable to you as possible. But it's unique for us, right? I mean, we're, we're a health insurance company, uh, but we have a clear focus on trying to make more of a difference in the local communities that we do serve, because that is ultimately our mission, as Steve alluded to. Uh, it is to improve the health and wellness of the diverse communities that we serve. And that's just not about paying claims, okay? Uh, it requires more from us, and you should all expect more from us. And that's what we really want to try to deliver along with our partners here. Uh, so it's unique, right? So it's a unique opportunity for us to come together and talk a little bit about health insurance and have banking in the room and legal services in the room, because ultimately 
the goal here is to try to provide you with some level of resources. We were talking earlier about networking, meeting folks that are cross uh, section in terms of the businesses that we are in. And sometimes we kind of get in our own little silos and we kind of march on, right? We want to try to broaden that out uh, through a true collaborative effort uh, and see what we can get from this, right? Uh, so from that perspective, we're really pleased that you're here. Uh, we're going to be very respectful of your time, uh, and to that extent, uh, we want to continue to move things along. So uh, I did want to just be brief, but uh, again, to say thank you to Steve, his staff, everyone that put this together, and more for you for investing the time to be here, okay? So with that, uh, what I'd like to do is introduce uh, our next uh, speaker, uh, Alberto Visayo. I think I've got that right. Uh, and uh, Alberto is uh, really needs no... Um, really no introduction, but uh, he is the President and CEO of El Mundo Boston. Uh, and we are very grateful to Alberto and his team uh, for really several years worth of a, just a very strong relationship. Uh, and it keeps on growing stronger, and uh, we look forward to having this event and, and many more to come uh, in this community. So again, thanks for being here, and uh, I'll pass it over to Alberto. Thank you, Dean. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if we're going to need the mic in the room because it's, yeah, it's, it's, I don't, right? You guys can hear in the back? Okay. <laughs> so the, the first thing, uh, I'm going to be very, very brief today. My job is to keep it moving along. Um, but uh, one of the things, I have some key points on each of the speakers, which I definitely want to mention. But I've also found out, I met with some them you know, backstage. There's no backstage. You know, back here. And I'm going to give you a little statistic on each one that nobody in this room knew uh, before. So don't get nervous, uh, some of you folks. I don't know anything about you, Dean, but what I did find out about Steve today, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> did you know that his wife was Peruvian? Who in the room knew that? One person. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't know that. Exactly. Um, and Dean, I didn't get a chance to go backstage, but what's your favorite all-time movie? Uh, favorite all-time movie? My gosh. Um, it's a Wonderful Life. Oh, that's oh, a good yes. one. That's a good one. That is a good one. 